What is going on, mother shuggers? This is Rip Chippers. I'm back at you with another vape video. The third vape video back, and I am digging it. I love vape, man. Vape, I can't believe I left, but hey, I needed it. I needed that break because I'm more energized. Today, boys and girls, we're going to be taking a look. Hey, what is this? <laughs> we're going to be looking at the Watofo Profile RTTA, designed by Mr. Just Right One and made by Watofo. Get her sitting on the new Ages Max. Video on that puppy chugger down in the description if you want to check it out. But this is not just a mesh RDTA. No, no, no. This is also going to be vaped in dual coil or single. Vape's pretty darn good in dual coil, but personally, I like the vapor in mesh. It gives me that profile RDA experience, that profile RTA experience. It's all about the same. It's just this. It's an RDTA. You got these ropes that sit in the bottom, right? And they go all the way up through the wick slots, through those little holes. You'll see this. But the juice that's in this tank, it wicks from the SS ropes all the way up to your cotton, where your mesh and all that is. You see what I'm saying? What's cool about this mother chugger is not only is she an RDTA, She's an RDA too. You could take this tank off and pop the RDA base. Again, you're going to see this and you could drip or you could squonk. So much stuff that comes with this, guys. And you know what? What do you get with it? Let me show you. Of course, here's the packaging she comes in. Looks just like the Profile RDA packaging, the Profile RTA packaging. About the same. And I like it. <laughs> Inside that packaging, you're going to receive the Profile RDTA with a matchy matchy 810 tip. 810 tips are freaking nice, man. Very comfortable. You get two additional SS ropes, three pieces of mesh, all next mesh. You got next mesh Clapton, which is point two ohms, next mesh turbo, 0.13 ohms, and next mesh extreme, 0.16 ohms. Personally, I prefer the next mesh extreme. Included in the packaging is two frame staple coils, two pieces of fluffy duffy cotton. Of course, you're going to receive a baggie of extras, O-rings, post screws, gold plated 510 screw, additional base for RDA mode. Get another baggie of extras, which includes your mesh rod, an Allen key, a screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, and you also get a user guide. One thing's for sure, this tank ain't lacking anything. <laughs> well, Tofo ain't playing, man. But yeah, the Profile RDTA, she's mostly made of stainless steel. And they say you got six color options for this. Personally, I've seen four different color options. You got this gold, comes in rainbow, blue, and black. Now, the ones I have not received is the gunmetal and the SS. SS is kind of boring. This color ain't. I mean, she's a bling a blingin'. The Profile RDTA is a 25 millimeter tank at the base, about 53 millimeter in length. And in tank mode, she holds a whopping 6.2 mils of juice, guys. A lot of capacity. It's got dual sided honeycomb adjustable airflow at the top, which cuts down from top to bottom. Oh, by the way, the airflow for this is smooth as a gravy sandwich, just like all the other profile devices. At the top of this Mamma Jamma, it's got a matchy matchy plastic A10 tip with a matching metal band to complete the look. Here's what the inside of the catch cup looks like. You got that embedded O-ring, and I'm assuming that most A10 tips are going to fit for this. Assuming. Could be wrong, but I could be right. So yeah, below the top cap, the barrel, and the deck section is your tank. That's where your juice is going to sit, with those SS ropes. And all you got to do is just unscrew it. And again, tolerances for this, they are tight when you first get it. But hey, that's not a problem to me. That just means it's more secure. It's not like you're not going to be able to unscrew this when you get it. It's not that tight, but it's tight enough. But yeah, go ahead and unscrew her. It's got a glass tank that's press fit inside the cage protector, and I like this cage protector. I think it gives this tank a little flair. Oh yeah, another thing I gotta point out about this, this is not the final production, and like I said, mine came with glass. But yours, I'm hearing, is not gonna come with glass. It's gonna be some material called PCTG, which is a plastic. To be honest with you, if it were plastic, I think it'd be that much more durable. But yeah, once you unscrew the tank, you can take the additional RDA base on and screw it into the base of the top section, which makes it an RDA. Woohoo! Now, if you look at the bottom plate, it comes pre-installed with a squawk pin. But like I said, they include a solid gold screw, and you can pop that in there if you want to just drip. Who would want to do that, though? Keep the squawk pin in there, in my opinion, unless you don't have a squawk mod. So yeah, you can vapor in RDA mode, or like I'm doing right now, you can uh, take that little base off and pop the tank back on there and just rock her in RDTA mode. Oh, I got to point this out. You want to keep this vertical. The ropes don't fit that tight. They're on the looser side. Well, Tofo, hope you guys are hearing that. I think the ropes, the stainless steel ropes, should fit a little bit tighter, be a little bit more secure. Secure. Because when you turn it on its side, if you let it sit, it will leak. So keep it vertical. Oh yeah, just to show you how the SS ropes work, take the base off, pop the four SS ropes in, and screw on the tank. Then you build it, you wick it, you juice a little bit, you fill it, and you should be good to go. If we look up here from the outside, it's got the same step up, step down top cap. Pretty much the same as the Profile RTA. Personally, I like to bait this thing with a top airflow. The top hole is completely blocked. It gives me an even airflow, nice and restriction, not too restricted, but also at the same time I get a good amount of airflow. Now wide open, I don't think the airflow holds was gonna go woohoo about but I think you know what for me it's a good amount of airflow but yeah on the inside of the top cap it's a little more dome than the original dome section sits in a little bit more and if you look in 
inside the barrel, it's got two tabs that cover up the fill port and the vent hole that's on the deck. And just letting you guys know who didn't see the original, it had a totally different design on the deck. You know what? I'll post links to those videos down below. The Profile RDA, the Profile RTA. So if we look on the deck, again, it's got the fill port over here. And I was able to use a dropper, a glass dropper to fill her up. A little bit on the tiny side, but it gets the job done, even with a dropper, a glass dropper. And then you got another teeny little hole diagonal to that, and that's the vent hole. So when you fill this up, air can escape. These four holes are for the four SS ropes included, like I showed you before. And again, the ropes fit a little bit too loose. Now, it doesn't affect how this thing wicks. I mean, the ropes are still in there. Yeah, they're still in there. No issues. They just fit a little loose. Tolerances need to be a little bit tighter. But yeah, if we look in the center of the deck, it's got that standard ceramic block, that profile style block that's spring loaded. Nice tension. Got your clamps over here for your mesh. And my clamps are not spring loaded. You have to kind of pull it out with your nail. And it's not that big of a deal. It's just something to point out. Oh yeah, and if you look straight down, you see the four slots? That's four connections for your coils. You got your Phillips heads on each side. Two on one side, two on the other. You pull those suckers out, you pop your coil or coils in there and you're good. Like I said, dual coil, single coil, or mesh mode. And how does she vape with coils? It vapes good. Vape production is good, but I get better vapor production with a mesh. The airflow is smoother than the mesh. Flavor to me, it's better with a mesh. All this is going to be subjective. You may like the coils. You may think the coils give you a more saturated vape, but what does it matter? If they give you the option to vape with coils, you good, man, and they do. Today, I'm going to be rocking some Next Mesh Extreme. You know it, man. Come on, because I'm an extreme mother chugger. So I got her built up. I got her wicked up. I got her juiced up, and if you want to see me build something like this, pretty much the same in every profile type device, but if you want to see a build and wick tutorial for this, check it out. Link's down in the description. Barrel goes on, covers both the fill port and the vent hole. Top cap goes on, adjusts the airflow to my preferred. You guys know it, I like it top, top covered up, bottom opened up. And the airflow blocked off at the top, it gives me a good amount of restriction. It's just enough restriction to get me going. And I vape this thing around 60 watts. You could vape it higher. I've been able to vape this thing up to 70, 70, pretty much with ease. But 50 to 60, maybe 65 watts, and it's the perfect amount of temperature. Perfect warmth. Vapor and flavor, you guys see it, look at the vapor. For days it goes, man. It's, it's dense, just like the profile on the profile RTA. This thing is on par with those. The only nitpicky that I found with this is the SS ropes fit a little bit loose, but it's not a deal breaker. I never had the SS ropes fall out on me. Not when it was all assembled, uh-uh. Oh yeah, another nitpicky for this, okay? If you pop it on its side, it's gonna leak. Just use your common sense, man. Keep it vertical. As far as price point goes for this puppy chucker, I'm seeing her sell online three, five, 35 bucks, okay? Now, uh, because of YouTube guidelines, okay, I can't post links down in the description to where you can get this. All I can tell you is if you're 21 years of age or older, Google Vape Trick. V-A-P-E-T-R-I-K, they got it. Vape Trick. They'll take care of you. I'm done, that's it, I am out. This is Rip Chippers, and remember, smoking is dead. The thing is the future. The future is now. Wow. Later. <laughs> I love this freaking job. I love it. See ya.